say you too, it's your boy, can you say so, and I'm back before we get to it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you hit the like button, and make sure you subscribe. I said that twice, but <laughs> that's because you really need to do it. Let's get right to it, though, man. Royalty did respond to Lexi pulling Daisha in CJ's video. She said, come pull my arm and put me in timeout. Since you won't pick up the phone, I've been moving and this is what y'all been doing. It takes a mother and father to raise a village and family support, of course. Now let's talk about Jay Single and Brooklyn Queen because recently they got matching tattoos and it seems like the supporters are not happy. Someone what? comment, isn't it a little too early for that? I mean, I like it. I was just gonna say that, bro. I was just gonna say that's a little bit too, too soon for that. But... If y'all are just on some strictly friend stuff, hey, do your thing. But then sometimes, hey, when it comes to relationships, you got to think about it. When you're going through it, mind you, again, this is not like when it comes to Brooklyn, when it comes to Brooklyn, you know, the, <laughs> the other Brooklyn. <laughs> and they it, 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 this, it's, this last time breaking up, it wasn't like that was their first time breaking up. It's been way too soon. Really go for it's your first time breaking up. Y'all was together for X amount of time, especially like if you come on years or whatever. Then it's like, all right, yeah, you probably you probably shouldn't be doing all this yet, even if it's a month later, because you never know. You might still go back. But that's not the first time they broke up multiple times. And that last time was really the last, last draw. And again, we're the outside looking in. We don't know when. They probably broke up way before the video that started exposing everything. That started showing that they wasn't together. They probably already broken up. This that last video just got uploaded, and then that was that. You feel me? But y'all, let me know what y'all think. At least it's not each other's name. These influencers do anything for content. Now let's talk about Blueface and Kershawn because yesterday the internet was in shambles. And let me explain why. Blueface explained during a No Jumper interview the real reason why he went to Baltimore to see Kershawn Jr. He finally like told me like like she, baby had a hernia, he's gonna have surgery or whatever. What? Just nothing major, just regular shit. And I was like, oh, damn. So that's really why I went out there. Damn. I'm like, all right, damn, I got to at least see this through with her. Mm -hmm. So the baby had complications. Yeah, yeah. Which Krishan Rock was upset that Blue spoke out about his hernia publicly. You wasn't so concerned about his damn hernia? When you came to Baltimore, you was concerned about putting out that damn song. Let's talk about that. Then you put out that song. So he like, you lied and said the baby was healthy. Nobody lied. He is healthy. A hernia though doesn't make him unhealthy. That's a normal effect with boys. They said that that's a common thing that happens to, uh, you know, newborns and shit. So I'm like, oh, okay. He like, what you lying for? It's not even that. I just didn't think to tell the world that he got hernias for clickbait. Blueface got upset and released a- Yeah, I probably wouldn't have said that though. I probably for sure kept it to myself. It's like y'all just be exposing too many things. Disturbing picture of his son after Kershawn said that the baby was healthy and his condition was normal. Baby still ain't have a surgery for his hernia. She lying talking about he healthy. He don't even have a penis because the hernia and his balls are so big and she's steady on here talking about me and my fix our son first and then go find somebody else to ride. She's a bad mother. Yes, yeah, she's unfit. She's been pushing the surgery back, missing the appointment so she could do what she wants. I went to be more thinking it's surgery and they talking about she missed the appointment. Cats out the bag. Krishan has been a mom for two weeks and she's focused on and being outside instead of her son's surgery and hernia. She missed five appointments for my son's surgery for her own plans. That's why she didn't make it to the show and she came back to Cali with no progress. If I was there the day the baby was born, he wouldn't have left until he was fixed. Do you understand my frustration now? She's playing with my true, son man. and his well-being for her own spike grieving feelings that's an innocent baby and you that is true if your baby needs surgery that's what that, that's what i was confused about every time she's get she get posted you're outside somewhere you at walmart you going to church you you going to video shoots you at the gas station you in the gym now mind you the gym probably was in in the hospital or um in her apartment complex which she was standing before she got her place but still you in all these different places. What? You should have been at the hospital. Take care of that. For, forget your career. Forget get some money. Forget go buy a place. Forget shopping for that place. Take your baby to the hospital. Put him last on your priority list. You shouldn't have left BMO without his right. You selfish piece of shit. You went to Baltimore, shot a music video, and came home. You just as much as the problem, if not worse. I was just about to say that too. While Jaden is on Twitter laughing. Cause y'all, I'm thinking he just mad about me not signing to MILF Music for real. I only did the video just to 
be cool with him because I know how type of people like he is. He, if you're not cool with him, he going to start playing those bitter roles. Like, start using court and lawyers and CPS. So I was like, fuck that shit. I'm cool with your bitch ass, you, your bitch, anything you want. I'll be cool. But and when it got to the nitty gritty of changing the name, I couldn't change the name. I don't want to. When it got to the nitty gritty to actually sign paperwork with Milk Music, I don't want to. I didn't do it. And then when he want my he want my checks oh, back into his name bro. from Zeus, I didn't want to do it. I can't do it. Bro, I swear, bro. I, bro, as a man, as a as a man, as a fatherless kid who wanted kids and don't trust these feelings enough to have one with him. If I have a, if I get a girl pregnant and she names my baby a junior after her, we are going to court. We are going to court. I don't care. People like, he snitched. Yeah, I snitched on my baby mama. Yes. For sure. For sure, bro. We are changing that, bro. We are, we are, we going to be at war over that. Because that, what? Never. That's, but, in that situation, what do you, what do we really expect? Really? So you post a picture of my son for a clout. Why are you posting our son, bro? And why would you post it, bro? Bro, like, bro. Like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm arguing about something else. That just got out. It's a picture, huh? Then it's about another n that, yeah, that don't even talk to me. I don't have no relations with. I have no relations. Yeah, he was fine for that. I didn't see the picture. And I'm glad I didn't see it, but that's fine, bro. What? I would. No, I I can't even say I understand, but but you, you know, you, you having Twitter fingers, it's it's whatever, I guess. But that that's going way, way too far. Then your excuse is my phone got stolen. I got hacked. And all the all things that I, that we know that are possibly in your phone, they post that. Out of all things, you probably got X amount of pictures of you, Pauls, Jaden, Kashawn, X amount of other females, but they post a baby pic. I said pic, I didn't say the other one. <laughs> Boy, this stuff is crazy. It's just what we don't talk, kahoot, nothing. Y'all did that little. Little, little subliminal tweet shit, whatever. Blue, you were stretching. You made it about you. Then I did the little music video with you. You didn't come see your son. You came to do the music video. Like, let's be clear. You came to Baltimore when I'm calling you saying your son got possibly a uh, surgery, but we're going to talk to the surgeon and doctors and schedule a, a firm date for him to go in anesthesia and shit like that. We have to talk to anesthesiologists. All yeah, I need to talk to the whole front line of who's who's gonna be operating on my son. Yeah, that's why it took a little minute for me to really get a, a date, a confirmed date, bro. You came to Baltimore. You didn't give a fuck about no appointment. You gave a fuck about that video. This little baby. You got your diss out. You left. You went back to Cali. You came back to L.A. What I do? I stayed in Baltimore, made sure my baby was straight. Then I flew back, flew back, got the heads up. Oh, he got an appointment. OK, cool. Flew back out. What you do? You did a show. And then you said Krishan had to handle serious matters. So now you're trying to say I'm unfit. Now you're trying to say I was pushing the appointments. Now you're trying to play with the appointments because, you know, you get in, you get. You know what's sad about this, though? Again, I got all the up. So. My my commentary come from you no know, real nigga perspective. We all told you from the gate, do not get pregnant. You are not getting no. This is my baby mama relationship type of energy. You're not getting that. You're not going to get that. He is not going to be with you for you doctor appointments. Nothing. He's not going to be there. When the baby gets able to walk around and talk and, <laughs> and, and probably school and everything, yeah, he's probably going to be there because, hey, it's a boy at the end of the day. You know, he, hey, who, who wouldn't want to be there for that son to go pick him up? I mean, can't even say that because 
it's a lot of that. It's not still not there. But he more likely probably gonna be there for the moments. But these moments, you're, he's not your man. He's not. You were the side chick who got pregnant. Sorry to say it. Been saying it from the gate. You are the side chick. He giving you all his attention, showing you all this so he can get what he wants. It's, it's, it's damn. I'm lucky breaking God code right here. But hey, it is what it is, bro. Hey, y'all know where I'm going, man. Come on. All that bad, all that bad shit for posting my son. You shouldn't have posted when you was drunk, bro. You should have thought about it when you sober or called WAC 100 because WAC 100 wouldn't have vouched for that. <laughs> and if WAC 100 vouching for that that shit, you just did, y'all all, y'all playing with me. <laughs> boom. You was never could. Let me go back. You let whatever going on between us to expose our son for what? Nobody gaining from here, bro. I'm glad my kid don't understand what that mean. You hear me? But say if he was six, seven, eight, nine, ten, he gonna be smart as shit to know what's up. That his daddy just exposed him. Then you're getting sued for a defamation and then you're getting sued for a lot of shit. But before you get sued, I'm gonna call your probation officer and tell him what's up. So when you go to court, Jeez, we can ne we don't have to deal with none of this shit ever again. Yeah. Like, why are you not acting like you his father, bro? She for the snitch on Blueface, bro. Hey, as you said, because that is what she said, that you did expose your own son, bro. Nobody should know this. Nobody should know what his thing looking like, what he, he got to hurt. None of this. We should, the world should not know this. Now, when he gets, oh, she's someone when he gets six, seven years old, he would, he, he going to, he, he's going to get to that age. And hopefully, you know, make it, make it to a hundred, you know. You know, God willing, but he's going to get to that age. He's going to see it still. And we're not, hey, kids got iPhones now. They be five years old with iPhone, know how to use it, know how to call and text, hop on YouTube, all that stuff. You already know where they're going to be at when you, <laughs> six years from now, bro. These kids going to be super advanced, boy. Find some way to pay everybody who screenshotted it if they did that. Take that down. Delete that from the internet. For real. 